How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So on this video, I'm going to be going over a very simple thing that is causing a major issue on some of these uh, 1.5Ts, uh, not all of them. But anyways, it all starts with your oil change and in particular, your oil filter. So when people uh, get these uh, oil filters that are wrapped like this, they poke a hole in it this way and sometimes the piece of plastic falls inside and causing essentially what I'm going to explain right now. Uh, so very simple to do lift it up through the back and just pull it out versus poking a hole through here. If you do happen to poke a hole through here, uh, then just you know make sure there's no plastic inside the filter itself. Now, if you have a filter without this, then this won't happen. Uh, but some aftermarket filters come wrapped like this. The Honda ones, uh, most of them come wrapped like this. So definitely something you want to be aware of when doing your own oil changes. Or we, we even see some of the Express guys do it here. And uh, that's an immediate uh, no-no. So anyways, Essentially what happens is uh, we're poking holes through here, right? A uh, piece of plastic, plastic falls inside. Now there's a port on some of these uh, 1.5Ts. I think it's uh, the Civics and the Accords, uh, excuse me, Civics and CRVs, only the Accords, I don't believe, have this uh, same port. Anyways, so uh, that little piece of plastic is going up into the oil pan, uh, obviously uh, through the filter system, and then eventually uh, getting stuck in uh, the cylinder head gasket on this port right over here in this case it's already been removed but that was the case here so that tiny hole that feeds the camshafts so that tiny hole lines up here and this is oil passage for the camshafts right over here and you can see the scoring that happens so this car came in with the knocking uh, most times this camshaft does get seized but yeah, this uh, camshaft, you can see it's discolored and it's uh, scored right over here. So this head is uh, garbage at this point because the bottom half is attached to the head and you can't really uh, remove that. So yeah, this uh, head is garbage, obviously a very costly uh, repair. So we're gonna be doing a new head on this one with a new head gasket, uh, a proper oil change and the car will be fine uh, from there. The bottom end isn't uh, affected because uh, once again, that's just uh, the oil feed that lubricates the head up here. And uh, there was really no loss of oil pressure uh, on the bottom end of the car. So um, once again, here's the head gasket. And that's the tiny hole that the plastic gets stuck in. And we've seen this maybe a handful of times it's not all of them and this is human error so this will not be covered by honda so if you did it or an outside shop did it they would be responsible for it if uh, one of our guys did it here then we would essentially be responsible for this repair honda is well aware of this and uh, they are not going to be covering this so uh once again this car came in with a knocking noise a knocking tapping noise it was clear that it was from the top end so, um, and it had an aftermarket oil filter. So we kind of knew something uh, fishy was going on, uh, but we did take it apart to find out that that camshaft was scored. And uh, that was the end of that. Now, uh, I'm not sure who's paying for it, but it is not Honda at this point. So once again, just to uh, recap, if you're doing your own oil changes or aftermarket shop, just make sure they are not poking the oil filter this way to get the wrapper off, that they're pulling it through the back. And as silly as it sounds, um, you know, common sense ain't so common so sometimes. So uh, some of the other engines, even though some plastic gets in there, it doesn't have that small uh, oil feed port on the head gasket, so it's not an issue. Um, in this case, it is. So that's just the way that the design of the engine is. So it's something that uh, you just have to be on extra alert for and make sure no plastic or debris falls inside the oil filter and uh, you shouldn't have any issues uh, going forward. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, just something I wanted to recap and uh, go over with you guys. That is something that we are seeing, um, no, uh, not so often, but we, we see a few uh, handful a year, maybe five or six a year. So that's enough to uh, obviously be an issue. And uh, once again, that Honda will not cover, but uh, somebody's gonna have to pay for it. So whether it's you, whether it's the, the, the shop, whether it's a, a customer, uh, whatever the case may be, uh, definitely an issue that uh, you just want to be mindful of when doing your own oil changes. With that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe.